drive time actually on this car for about four years guys so this is a 1971 Chevy Camaro date code correct original matching number 350 not a Z car it's got Z badges it's been on there since I got it um, of course Z cars didn't come with AC this has got the AC the power steering the power brakes it's got the five tech fuel injection kit looking around under here. I put a kill switch there a long time ago. Under detailed pictures, financing and shipping is available on this one. Uh, interior was replaced. Um, good little car. Power locks. And they work for the remote. Throughout this test drive, we'll be pointing out flaws just like I always do. I won't miss anything. You'll know about it. About that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out the interior. Place your bet so you think the horn works on this one. Nice little shifter there. Clean glove box. Nice seats, like I said. They weren't replaced. Package tray, headliners tight. Carpet's in good shape too. People like to see the pedals, there's your pedals. We'll go ahead and start this one up. Now it is fuel injected, so I usually turn the key and I'll wait till the fuel pump stops. Once the, once the fuel pump stops, you turn the key. She starts up pretty good. Turn on the radio. Never sounded so good. Radio works. I did buy a new controller for the Fitech. I didn't get one, but I got the wide face one on there in the glove box show you the mileage showing 21,000 turn signals both sides popping up gas gauge works wipers work blower motor and AC now it does have heat and when I first got it I charged it and it was starting to blow cold but then I guess it all leaked out so we got a leak on the AC something that you'll have to look into to get fixed and that was about three years ago I never messed with it and never got the AC working I'm a windows down type guy as you can tell that's what I do up here at the lot all the time if it's working it's working but you can see I'll crank the windows down we do got power locks here and they work it's kind of nice having that I never get cars in the lot that have that I thought that was cool horn what do you think what do you think I'm gonna hook my horn up are you out of your mind? I'm just kidding. The old horn never worked. Man, I never changed the steering wheel. Uh, when I bought this car, I pretty much just left it all original because I like the looks. I like the wheels. I like the style. I do like the uh, the Five Tech fuel injection. It's set up right on here. The only thing I've ever had to do before, and this is for the future person that buys this car, turn the key. Let the fuel pump cut off and just tap the gas. It will start right up. But most of the time you just turn the key and it starts up. But I have had to do that adjustment with the throttle. Just tap the gas, starts right up. But I don't want you over here putting it to the floor. And I can't get the car started because if that does happen, you're going to flood it. All right, here we go.
just like we always do we'll light that undercarriage up check everything out so you can see it don't forget about the 100 detailed pictures we provide those at maplemotors.com we have financing and shipping on all of our vehicles i'm still trying to vote but i can't get in there so many people i'm gonna try first thing in the morning we'll do that we'll see what happens shots, undercarriage shots, and I'll end with picking out the flaws. And I noticed a couple little spots popping up my clear coat on the hood, and I'm going to show that. Um, everything will be detailed, guys. Okay guys, first thing, when I get back, I notice my little switch that goes to my brake lights down there on the floor. It's kind of giving me some issues. It's never really given me issues before, but today it is. So I'll fix it so you don't have to. How about that? Of course, I really don't know how long it may have been giving me issues because I don't ever see my towel lights. I'm usually driving it. <laughs> but now that I have my screen here, I can see it. And of course that'll be fixed. There's a little button. When you push the pedal, it pops out. And I noticed it was kind of sticking, so I'm gonna try to take it off, check it out. If worst case, I'll replace the button itself and put a new one in and call it. It should work perfect.
suspension on this one's good, pretty smooth. Got something just flew in my window. It looks like dog hair. We missed the speed bump, but you didn't even notice it because the suspension's good. <laughs> Well, we're getting ready to pull into Maple Motors. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. Picking out the false chip scratches, all that stuff is going up next. If it's there, you'll know about it. This one does have a couple little chips. That you might want to know. Picking out the flaws coming up right now. Okay, let's walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Coming up to the front end. I changed out the original headlights for these. They're much brighter. Uh, they had it to where you could set it up where your turn signal's there, but mine worked down here, so I didn't change them. Little chips in the front. Got some touch-up marks. road grime there it's coming off coming down the sides been over your fender touch up marks here at the bottom from road chips See some little marks there in the corner. Up and over. Mid section. He watched all these cars this morning, but I don't guess he got them all clean, did he? <laughs> Chip there. Yeah, this one I would wax, let it sit overnight, come back, clean the wax off. Little blemish here. And then leave it in the garage. Same thing before winter. So it's got a lot of wax on it. Little dirt. There's a scuff there. That should come off. It's probably new from sitting on the lot. Chip here. And over the top of the fender here. A little dirt wiped off. Dirt. Spot there on the pillar. Front windshield looks good. A little bit of pitting here. Edge of your wings got some touch-up marks. And over the roof. Seals in this car are all good. See they've been replaced. Tail lights. The little switch behind my brake pedal uh, started giving me trouble just now. I've never had any issues with it till today, but I will have that fixed. And it will be working right. Little chip there. I've done uh, a few different ones just messing with that little switch down there. But the worst case scenario, I just buy a new one and put it on. Little chip. 
ships. Coming up. Trunk lid looking around the edges. Need to be wiped out. Down in the trunk. Solid. It shuts good. A little scuff there, it should come off. Light little scuffs on some of the trim there. Got some little bubbles popping up here in the corner. My little scuff here. A little paint imperfection there. Chip here in the corner. Midsection. That's dirt. It'll come right off. dirt on there chip on the edge of the door a spot on the wing there a little dirt there and there and that both of those come off I guess I should have washed it myself before I come out here. <laughs> Chip there. Yeah, so that's just dirt. And that one come off. check out the interior that was my up close walk around the outside now the interior like little scuffs when you trim A little bit of pitting on your chrome. Like I said, the interior was changed out in this one. Got my cameras there. Carpet is in really good shape. crack here on top of this kids get on these things and mess them up see it's kind of loose wonder if I even got yeah still got the ashtray and light on this is cap over the original dash On this, turn the key. Wait till the fuel pump cuts off. Then give it a turn. Ashtray there.
just notice a little screws missing from there. up here on the edge of your hood. Coming down with the hood. Little bubbles popped up here on the stripe. Up there. A little hazy in the corner. Touch up mark. Imperfections there. There, yeah, guys. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said I've had this one about four years. Um, I'll figure out the brake lights. I don't know why they did that. It's because I was selling it and got mad. <laughs> but it'll be fixed. I uh, got them to flash and stuff. It's just a little switch when you push it down and it releases. 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping. It's all available at maplemotors.com. Good tires. Any other questions, call me. I'll go over some stuff with you. Shipping, financing, all available. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.